And I'm back with more East 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. Uh, today was an interesting day for me, I suppose, mostly because this morning I had an epiphany that Breath of Fire 3 or Breath of Fire 4 just wasn't working out the way I was hoping it would. So I decided to go strictly into playing East 8. You'll have noticed by now, but this is like 10 or 15 episodes in by now. Um, I'm not playing Breath of Fire anymore on the channel. Uh, the game is just not as uh, well designed, but it's more than that. It's the fact that I haven't played it and on a Twitch stream or whatever, it's easier to justify going through whatever game because you're experiencing it with people and whatever. YouTube being a platform of record videos, get them out, get them as short as possible, make them snappy, whatever make them self-contained, but also a passive, you have to actually talk through them. It's tough to talk through a game that I haven't played in 20 years. And when I was getting frustrated, it just felt stupid and it didn't work. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. So from here on out, only one game like it was before. And I'm only going to play games that I know I can beat without, you know, struggling through not saying they're not hard i'm just saying that i know how to beat them or know how to talk about them and know what i'm doing so this game i do know what i'm doing anyway i can't do the boat building yet but i did do some stuff we've already updated this but we now have stockades and catapults so you only get one of each but you were able to get so they're able to throw weapon damage. I was also able to go to Kathleen and get some upgrades for my weapons and stuff. And we'll keep going with the Beast Hills. I think, again, it's not that I didn't like Breath of Fire. My main issue... Oh, yeah. I also went through and did... This is what I talked about before. Not going through stuff I'd already done on camera. So, we showed that off. We've got that. So when we get more people, we'll be able to do that more. Um, and I think people can understand my reasoning. Um, because on a YouTube yeah, let's go. game play, you're pretty much at the mercy of what am I doing? What can I do? Well, I can't go that way. Yeah, I can't go anywhere, so it's looking like we're going down this cave. Um, I'm mostly at the mercy of talking to myself, right? But I also want to make this interesting, and the, the game has to hold up. And I feel that if I haven't played a game in so long, I don't know anything about it. This, I have played, like, early last year, and I played it on... Uh, Vita when it came out. So I've had a couple playthroughs. I know kind of what I'm doing. That doesn't mean I'm going to complete a game, but it also means that I should be able to at least provide something. Like I should be able to at least provide something. When I'm just kind of standing there, not really doing anything, not really saying anything. It's really frustrating. No, I gotta be careful because that thing's there. So he's in the way and he's level 35. So I'm just gonna say no. We can defeat him someday, but it's gonna take a while. Um, but yeah, I just, the way that Breath of Fire was designed, I couldn't really do anything. I didn't know the way to go, and the game was designed like a fucking maze, and the more I realized it, the more I was kind of dreading playing it. So I think, much like playing on Twitch or whatever, if you're not enjoying a game, you should be able to just change it up and, you know, apologize and move on. I love finishing games. But I also realize you got to be able to actually make an interesting playthrough. So... The other benefit with this is there's going to be way more progress in this game now that it's only one at a time. 
because I don't know how long this playthrough is going to be. It's definitely going to be longer than the other ones, and the other ones were like 60 videos, right? So There's something there. I have to think, well, we're going to be at this for a while. The least I could do is make it day-to-day -day progress when I'm recording. So I enjoy the game more. I know more about the game. And I want to make progress in it. So it's way easier to make progress in it when it's by itself. So those were my justifications. I know, I mean, I don't hate Breath of Fire, but it just made more sense to not do it anymore. And I think going forward, I'm only going to reserve YouTube playthroughs for things that I have played within like a year or two, or things I have beaten on a stream before. Stuff I have some level of familiarity with so that I'm not like lost. That I know my time frame, that I know that I'm not like cutting an episode in, taking time out to read a guide and all this other crap. Because that's part of it too. Reading a fucking guide to figure out where the hell I'm going. When in this, outside of stuff I need completionist for, I know where I'm going. In most cases. So that's huge. So I think overall that's where my stance lies. Because personally, I would rather provide a game for somebody and complete it if I'm going to go through it. But if I'm not enjoying it, or it's cutting into something else that I am enjoying, well, there you go. Also, um, probably not going to do this, but I was able to get this from uh, color change from... This is from Allison. So, pink hair, pinker attire, blue pants. I honestly like the the orange. Okay. Resist darkness. Okay, that's actually kind of useful. Because those guys, those spiders cause darkness. But anyway, we're here in the Eroded Valley, which was part of the Beast Hills. No, those, uh, those insect hives were causing trouble and in the way, so we need to get rid of those someday. But I'm pretty much topped out for what I can do gameplay-wise without going here. So another benefit of doing this by itself is, like, making progress in this game is way quicker because I have to make seven or eight videos a week rather than just four. Pirate's Note. Following those fools is what brought me here. It's dark. It's so very, very dark. Hell hides beneath the darkness. Probably that, um... Probably that Bullfrodon thing. Or he walked in here and had more trouble. Right there. He was stunned. Oh, there's something there. Because again, do I hate Breath of Fire 4? No. I think if I had some familiarity with it, I would have been able to get through it a lot easier and, you know, because there were episodes in Chamba and other places where I was just not getting anywhere. The game is designed... Oh, it's one of those things again. No thanks. So that's all it was. This game is a lot more straightforward. There are treasures and some hidden paths, but more than anything else, it's just designed as... You go in a place, you explore a place, you do a thing, you get some more stuff. And I've beaten it within the last five years, so that helps too. Level up. So I need some levels to make up for Hummel. So, from here on out, it's East. I think next one will either be Star Ocean 3 or Final Fantasy X and X-2. No guarantees on which one, but Star Ocean 3 was the one I was going to do after this anyway. 
So this is basically what I was originally planning to do until I decided to do Breath of Fire 4. main goal right now is just to get through. I'm not going to focus on too much exploration because, again, I was able to explore off-camera. That's one of the benefits. There's a lot of good stuff you can miss. In fact, I was able to find a lot of good items, actually, but... Moxie's skill is super fast to make. And again, I'm not really using Hummel right now just because Loxie is lower level. Oh yeah, you can actually fish in here and get stuff. My rod! But yes, another thing I could play would be like Castlevania and Bloodstained. Oh, I was originally going to stream them again, but yeah. that might be something I can YouTube as well. Because this is strictly a JRPG channel, but I have experience with some Castlevania games, mostly the Igavanias. Um, pretty, much pretty much anything that I have beaten is a fair game. Provided it fits that mode of oh, there. mostly a Japanese RPG, a role-playing game. I am not touching those things. You touch them, they are pissed, and they don't like it. Thankfully, they're asleep right now. But I mean, any Final Fantasy game, Super Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, Illusion of Gaia, you know, you name it. And, well, anything newer, this is like the newest game I've played, but... Any... Uh-oh. Oh boy, crap. Better thank me! Alright, well, I found a... A midway point. Okay, good. So we got another raid. But yeah, any any game that I have some familiarity with that kind of fits the mode of what the games I've played before. Again, I'm probably not going to do like Mario or Zelda on the channel, but I could if I'm familiar with them. It's more that I know what my wheelhouse is, but I have to know what makes the most sense for a given platform. And yes, that does mean playing Persona on this platform, even if it might take a year to get through a playthrough. Um, that'd be something different, for sure. Time to see how this raid stuff's gonna go. I'd say we're prepared. Let's begin. Yes. Let's do it. I'm a little underleveled, but hopefully we can handle this. Hope not. I'm actually under level for this bit. Yeah. Oh, these guys aren't so bad. <laughs> so that's the catapult for you. Ow! Let's go! Yes. 
Barricade hadn't taken any damage. Lost, lost one of the lures, but that's fine. Okay. I'm very on. Ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, there's four. All right, let's do this. Okay. Big one coming through. Take this. Yeah. My turn. Oh, my But shut up. Barricade still hasn't taken any damage, so... I don't think they've hit the barricade yet. I think we're definitely in good shape. Looks like I came in handy. Damn right you did. It was wonderful. They're still coming. Where am I supposed to go? How about, how about you just shut sight? up? How about you just not do anything? You're good at that. Bye, uh... Good work on that front, you stupid birds. Uh-oh. That took them out. Ooh. Only lost a couple of the lures so far. One more wave to go. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> Splendid. Everyone, just a little longer. Goodbye. Well, I took care of that mess. And because the barricade was so highly 
leveled up. It didn't take any damage at all. I don't know if they hit the barricade at all. Nice. Looks like I came in handy. <laughs> Better thank me. Hey, we did it. Yeah, great job. Yes. <laughs> Could have kept going for that. Well, it's a passing grade. Eh. I can always do better. <laughs> it was a little under leveled. Oh, how wonderful. Sweet remedy, huh? Wolford. Yeah. yeah. Bullfrodon mucus. Yeah. Okay, then. All right. Let's say we got some time. There was probably a boss we needed to do. What's the sweet remedy thing? Uh, yeah. There we go. Experience. Not much there. So let's save. Since there's probably a boss in that midway point of the eroded valley, I'm gonna check it out. If not, I'll call it an episode and then we can keep going. It's honestly a shorter area than I thought it would be. But I'm okay with that. But yeah, let's just see if there is a boss to be had. Yup, I knew it. Midway point, there's almost always a boss. Oh! Burrowing blind malice. Lonebrius! Crap. Well, my turn now. Well, I need to turn the lights on, Ned. Or can I? No. Well, I guess we're doing. I guess we're doing it the hard way. Ooh. This is gonna suck. Aggressive for this. Okay, we took them. Oh. And there's more of them. Oh boy. Tornado move though. He's about halfway done. Being a little too aggressive for my own liking, but. Oh. We doing the next phase of the fight now? Yup. Oh, big boy. Yeah. 
Ow! Ow! That's that's not working. This is really bad. Switch. Okay. I can keep going. All right, let's push through. On guard. Leave it to me. My turn now. What? It, uh, what? Okay, I don't have any more. Okay. I missed. Okay, I think I got him. Come on. Still one more help. There we go. <laughs> nice. What's this? Glowstone. Ooh. Oh, this will help. So, equipping this will give us some light. Adventuring gear. And <laughs> it's brighter now. How useful. This should make it easier to explore. Okay. So that'll do it for today. And we'll finish up the eroded valley next time.